Hey guys, OVO Hink here today because I, I mean, we gotta talk about it. It's trending all over the internet. Drake's me. And I know what you're thinking. What? Drake? <laughs> Drake? Bruh. Have you seen Drake dick? What? Drake's dick. Okay? His golden bone is all over Twitter. Everybody on TikTok talking about the six godly cock. How is breaking the internet, man? Come on, catch up, bro. Like what, Hink? But it, like I, I asked you guys, I said, do you want me to talk about it? And overall, it was a resounding yes, okay? So here we are today. For those of you that don't know, there is a video on the internet that is allegedly Drake stroking his beef, okay? W's in the shot. W's in the shot. Now, personally, I think he does enlargement and I'm gonna tell you why today, but regardless, I know what you're thinking, but there's actually stuff we can actually take away from basically this Drake video. We're gonna talk about it today. And of course, I'm gonna bring in as much science as possible, including some of the hacks that Drake used to, in my opinion, kind of fool the internet into thinking that he has this massive hog. Got the paddock on my wrist, doing front flips, giving you my number. So first of all, guys, like we, we have to talk about size because quite honestly, like it's big. Like, what do you, what do you want me to say? Like, it's, it's big. It, it just is. But it's like, it's crazy to me how some of these dudes are out here in the comments, like, like defending Drake, like they have some, some direct relation to him or some direct benefit. Bro, oh my God, they're so stupid. They talking about his shit wasn't beefy. What are you saying? Like, I tell you guys, like, I've been a Drake fan since the early 2000s, basically, when his first mixtape drops. Like, I, I, I have, you know, hashtag Team Lightskin, okay? But I'm not gonna sit out here and just, like, totally ride this dude's beef. I think we that need to no move problem. Lonzo. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. First of all, Drake is a big dude. So he's about six feet tall, and I think he's a legit six feet tall, not like I'm six feet on Tinder, okay? There's pictures of him floating around the internet, and he's usually, like, head and shoulders over a lot of different people. So that being said, being a big guy, like you would expect essentially a proportional D. So guys, before we like get into like his size, like I still can't believe I'm making this video. Like we need to talk about like what is average. So how would we know what's big and what's not, okay? I'm just gonna do this in inches for brevity's sake. But here guys, there's a paper that actually broke down actually like 10,000 different men and like, their actual size statistics, okay? So I'm gonna use that to make my argument for like what is big and what is small using something that's called standard deviation or basically what is a normal range distribution for size. So from this paper, we know that the average erect length is about 5.17 inches with a range of about 4.5 to 5.8 inches. Okay, that is bone pressed measurement. So you take a ruler, you press it as far as you can into your pelvis, and that's the number range you can get, okay? So that is average. Between that 4.5 to 5.8 is average. Anything above 5.8 is greater than one standard deviation, and that would make you categorically big, okay? So if you were to ask me, how, like, once again, still can't believe this. How long do I think Drake is? I think he's probably about six and a half non bone pressed, okay? That is very big, guys. That is greater than two standard deviations. Is it like corn star huge? Like, no, it's not exactly corn star huge, but it, it is like absolutely massive. And certainly there are some corn stars that are probably smaller than him. And guys, like this is my best guess. Like I'm not sitting here with like measuring pixels. Like I'm sure some of you guys probably watching this video have done. Like I really don't care that much. And I'm making this video to serve, to serve you guys. And I'm just giving you kind of my take. And I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. When we're talking about girth, it's something pretty similar. So if you look at the standard girth distribution range, you're talking about an average of about 4.59 inches with a range of about 4.1 to five inches in girth, okay? What do I think he is based on like the brief, like fuzzy grainy clip that's on the internet? I'd probably say maybe about 5.2 inches in girth. So well above, I mean, a normal variance range, like well into the big range, but I just, I don't, I don't understand how people are like, oh my gosh, like, have you seen this dude's beef? Like, oh my God, it's huge. Like, I love this Long Beach Griffey skit that I keep including in this video, but they're like, he's like, yeah, Drizzy's a stallion. stallion. Like, I mean, I, I get it, guys. Like, he's a celebrity, and when, like, I, I don't know what people are expecting, but whatever, he exceeded expectations. It is 
unequivocally a large phallus, guys. But I just, I wasn't like, oh my gosh. Now, that being said, you know, oh my God, I'm so great. But like, I'm also now considerably bigger than that. It's not bragging if it's true. I'm kind of used to seeing bigger than that on myself on a daily basis. So I wasn't that blown away. But for anybody that would be like any average size guy, seeing that would, I mean, should be like, that's very big because it is. But they were all of them deceived. Guys, I kind of feel like this is like Lord of the Rings because they were all of them deceived because he used hacks to make his D seem way bigger than it is. And we're going to talk about these are the hacks that you can use, guys, if, if you want to kind of maximize yourself. For those that don't know, the corpus spongiosum, so the underside of your actual phallus, it actually runs on the underside of your penis and goes and attaches all the way almost back to your anus, okay? At the bulb of the penis, it's what it's called. If you are taking pictures, like you're looking at me right now, so if, if this was my beef, okay, looking at the underside, it would be way longer. This is actually a pretty good analogy here because you could see it like from here all the way to here, but if you were looking from the top side, all you would see was basically be from here to here. In the video, guys he's he's like this and not only is he like this he also slides his hand so let's say that this is basically the bottom of his his junk okay like where the penile shaft meets the actual mons pubis okay he slides his hand down he's gripping it like this if you actually look like his hand is basically over his balls basically it gives this illusion because he grabs it down here like this is all his beef when Really, if you were looking from the top, the beef would be like this, this much shorter because you'd be looking from here to here. And that's where how you would measure. So if you were trying to impress somebody, taking a picture from the underside is one of the easiest ways you can make yourself look immediately larger, okay? And once again, like I did not st study this thing in depth, but still like you can even see as he holds it, he kind of like does this little like wiggle thing. But guys, to be quite honest, like that whole video was very disturbing to me. I don't know, I kind of have this image of Drake in my mind and him like spread eagle with like his legs open, like flopping his beef around. It was just so like, what am I looking at? Oh, gosh, I, I really hope he didn't intentionally leak that because I just think that is not a good look at all. I mean, there's other ways he could have shown it off even just like a still photo I don't know man that was just weird but anyways I digress so I think he literally has tactics to make it seem like it's bigger it's also zoomed like way out and it's done like he's he's clearly holding up an iPhone 15 which happens to be the 15 Pro the same thing that I'm recording with right now but yet how do you still have a grainy photo in 2024 I don't know so the whole thing just seemed honestly a little off to me and a little bit fabricated I'm not gonna I, I, I'm not going to speculate or whatever, but I, I don't think he has confirmed that it's him. And I doubt he ever would because he's got enough hype behind it. But I don't know. It just was not a good look in general. But here's why I think he actually does PE. So Drake is light skin, you know, as am I. And there's variations. There's a lot of different variations. OK, but in general, like most light skins do don't have a naturally like dark D. It just doesn't work like that. OK, however, if you pump and you have hemosiderin staining, essentially like that bruising appearance of your D from chronic pumping, it does in fact turn dark as mine has. And I think that Chris from Good Looking Loser, he used to joke that he had a basically a BBC because he's a white dude, but he pumped so much that he actually had so much hemosiderin staining around his D that it actually turned it dark. In my opinion, once again, from this grainy dark photo zoomed out, whatever, it did look very dark proportionally to the rest of his body, okay? I, I understand that's a soft call. I get it. No pun intended. Now, maybe this is me projecting, but I also just feel like he had that that post pump like vibe. It's like you get out of the pump and you see it kind of pumped up and you're like, whoa, I'm loving this. And then in my mind, he had just taken off his air pump, hit it under the like pillow beside him or something, and then was flopping his beef around because he was so proud of himself and saying, you know what, let me, let me record. Along with that, oftentimes when you pump, especially for longer periods of times, it actually has like, it has a softer appearance to it. In the video, once again, he's kind of flopping around his beef. It wasn't like he was, you know, rock hard. Ah, this is a weird video. <laughs> to all my guys that watch me for my science-based knowledge and videos, I apologize deeply, <laughs> but I did think this was interesting. Along with that, I also think he has this brand new confidence in his D and maybe he's just always had a D like that and just wanted to finally show his D. There's a there's a, a meme or like a, I think it's a fake Instagram post but it says like I wasn't hiding my meat from the world I was hiding my world from the meat. Callie put it up you sent it to me earlier today it was very funny but 
I do think if he had always had a beef like this, that he would have been more likely to leak it earlier, okay? Objection, Your Honor, speculation. Yes, these are all alleged things. That's not even confirmed to be his beef, guys. So, you know, it is what it is. He's also allegedly had work done. There was an article on Complex about an Instagram post he made where it clearly looked like he'd had abdominal etching done or basically targeted liposuction around his abs to make them more defined than what they are. And if you look at the definition in his abs compared to the rest of his body fat, in my opinion, it was very clearly evident that he had had abdominal etching done. I mean, no, no question in my mind. If he has access to the best surgeons, the best plastic surgeons, you know, why, why would he not get fillers in his beef? I mean, he could very, very easily do that. And really nobody would ever know he could get fillers and then be, you know, flopping his beef around on the internet. Or Guys, if you are obscenely wealthy, have any girl that you could ever possibly get, you're one of the, if not the most lucrative artist of all time, and the only thing you were insecure about was your meat, wouldn't wouldn't you kind of explore every resource you have to 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 make it bigger? So once again, maybe I'm projecting because I you know I'm a successful doctor, believe it or not, and in a relationship, all these good things, but I was still insecure about my beef. And as soon as I found out that I could make it bigger, I, I hopped on it. I mean, as fast as I could, guys. And that's part of why I'm here, trying to spread the good word, if you can, that you can in fact enlarge your meat. I know probably some of the guys that are just discovering me saying, "No, you can't do that. That's not possible." Guys, like here's a st extender. Study right here, okay? It literally says that guys with normal penises, just with dysmorphia about it or small penis syndrome, were able to enlarge their penis simply by using an extender, okay? Peer reviewed evidence. Here's another paper here, guys. It's called the P Long Trial. Yes, there are flaws with the trial, but at the end of the day, it's peer reviewed research done by an actual freaking urologist showing an increase in size and an increase in length and an increase in girth. So, guys, it is possible, and that's part of what I talk about on this channel. So, you could meticulously go through all my videos if you want or guys my course is live if you want to learn how to put on 1.5 inches like I did in length and an inch in girth you can obviously you know you can use my course reviews are going extremely well I can't believe how many people are buying this but if you want to check it out check it out for yourself guys the last thing I want to touch on is just the insecurity piece of this and I know there's some man who, if you're a man you can't use the word insecurity but for me good god if this had been 2019 right before I started PE this would have absolutely like messed me up guys and I know I'm insecure I'm a little you know b-boy like whatever you want to call it but that's just the fact of the matter knowing that there was this picture or video going viral of a famous celebrity with a very large member and the millions of women that are seeing this and commenting on it and assuming that that's what a normal size d looks like i mean i would have just absolutely spiraled i think it's important to bring issues in the community or at least in the men's community because i have even seen twitter comments of like guys like punched in the air because there's drake has all the all the money all the women all the songs and like and he's got a huge d like that's just not fair it should have been me not him it's not fair i hope that i could shed some light on this situation yes sorry guys it's big do i think it's like ungodly huge no i think he used a lot of kind of smoke and mirrors to make it seem a lot bigger than it actually is but objectively it is a very large D. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if you wanted me to say, like, JK, G, Drake has a small D. It's not, guys. It's very big. That being said, with a little smoke and mirrors yourself, you can enhance yourself for your image. And, of course, you literally can make your D bigger if you are insecure about it. There's ways you can do it. Guys, check out r slash getting bigger. I also have my subreddit, r slash hink. But most of the information for getting started is on r slash getting bigger guys on reddit if you are going to partake in any sort of enlargement exercise you really should be taking something like vigor guys it's an excellent pre-workout for just lifting weights but also a good pre-workout for pe it has literally scientifically designed based by real science ingredients that boost your nitric oxide that are going to help your penile tissue stay healthy guys anyways let me know what you guys think let me know what you think about this whole situation let me know how disappointed you are in me that i actually made this video i mean i'm, I'm kind of joking you know, please don't be too mean in the comments but hopefully you learned something i love you guys remember there's nothing wrong with self-improvement but you are enough just as you are peace and love guys